morning. It feels like Monday because yesterday was Monday. But, and Jason was home. But it's Tuesday. Um, this morning, as soon as it hits 8 o'clock, I will be ringing the doctor. I cannot move my mouth. Like, that's... That's how much I can open it. Um, but when I push it, I can open it more. So I'm going to go to the doctor today because I am in so much pain and I can't open my mouth whatsoever. Like I can't open it to yawn, to like do anything to talk more. Um, like I can't do anything and like I get scared because I can feel it lock up and it's really frightening. Um, but as soon as I press it in, I can open my mouth. But now I can open my mouth fully. Nope, no, I can't. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's been going on. Like, I honestly don't know what's happened because it only has happened in the last, like, few days. And it really scares me. Um... so painful that it is really painful and I think it just scares me the most is when I, it locks up and I can't move my mouth and it just it really freaks me out it's not something that I need to deal with right now with having Freddie and everything it just scares me even more because I like I know one of the things that you can get is get surgery and that even scares me more because I don't want to have surgery on my face. <sighs> but I'm trying not to think about it that much. I just hope my doctor be at, is able to give me some painkillers because it's really painful. My sister gave me magnesium tablets to help in like loosen it up but they're not really working so um I just want painkillers and then just tell me what I'm going to do because it's, oh, it's so painful. Just booked in to see a doctor at 10 to 12 so we've got a few hours till then. Um, but I'm hoping he just gives me some pain relief um, today and then I'm thinking I'll have to get some x-rays done because it's it's feeling worse and worse like I feel like it's just like locking into place constantly I, don't, I can't open my mouth still that's how much I can open it that's not even that much it's like uh, 10 to 1 and I just got back from the doctors um, went and saw about my jaw and I've got TM, TMD issues, so basically I've got jaw dysfunctioning issues. Um, apparently it's very common, apparently 15% of adults in the world suffer from this, um, so it's not something really bad unless my jaw um, locks into place and I can't actually physically shut it then I need to go to the emergency room um, because obviously something needs to happen. I got a parcel today. I got a parcel from my K friend Kayla. We um, ordered some stuff from Colourpop a fair few, well, like a month ago. And um, it was when they were having their 20% off sale. And I decided I would get some things. And I was actually at a baby shower when I ordered these things. She like messaged me and she's like, I'm in Colourpop. Do you want me to get you some things? Because I've, I'm not in the waiting line anymore. And I was like, yes, please. Um, so we went halves in shipping. And it probably worked out cheaper actually doing it that way. I wanted to show you guys what ones I got. Because, look. I got this many. I got this many. Ooh, I'm so excited. One, two, three, four. I got eight. Eight new lipsticks. <laughs> I'm so excited because they're so different colours than what I have right now. This is the first one. <gasps> this is Chili Chili. This is one that's been on my list for many, 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 many months. <gasps> Look at it. Ooh, it's so pretty. Do you guys want me to swatch it? Let me swatch them on my arms. Hopefully Freddie doesn't need my attention for a little while. 
<gasps> this is such a nice brown. <gasps> I think I've just placed that in a really bad place. That is Chili Chili. This one is Scrooge. I'm pretty sure this is like a red. Nope, it's a purple. Ooh. They smell different to what my other ones smell like. <gasps> That's a nice color. Ooh, look at that one. Can you see it? It's so, I, I swatched it in a really bad place. Letitious, Letitious, Little Titious, Letitious. Like superstitious, but little Titious. Ooh, it's like a nude. This is way nuder than what I thought. I thought this was gonna be like gray. Ooh, that's a bit nuder than what I was expecting it to be. That's Letitious. This one is Pacific. This is the one I wanted. This is an orange. <gasps> Look at it. If you know me, I love reds and I love oranges. And I love greys. Ooh. <gasps> That's stunning. I can't wait to wear that. Look at that. Look at it. Can you see that? Look at it. So excited, guys. Is Eco. Echo? Echo Park. Eco Park. Echo. Okay, this looks like little licious. Letitious. Lit lit super. <laughs> whatever it's called. It looks like this one. They're very similar. Well, not really. This one's a little bit darker. <laughs> um, let's swatch this bad boy. Bad habits now. I'm pretty sure this is either a red or a grey. <laughs> it's a purple, guys. I totally got it wrong. This is a nice colour. Ooh. I like it. Naked ladies! Pretty sure this is a limited edition one, is it? Nope. Naked Ladies. It's a pinky red. Ooh, that's bright pink. Bright pinky red. It's a weird combination. It's like a... Yeah, I would call it a pink. Pinky red. Last but not least, r and B. I thought they got a, a one that's... Hmm, maybe I didn't... Another purple, guys. What's with the purples? I never wear purples. Ooh, I like it. Uh, definitely the first one is my favourite. Thank you, Caleb, for getting them for me because you literally saved my life. Um, because I wasn't going to wait in the line for two hours. Um, I wanted to share with you guys something else that I got from an Instagram page because I love it. Um... So yeah, this is what I got. It's a little flag and it says Freddy on it. Um, it's super adorable. I got an orange one. You can get all different colours. But I wanted orange because I wanted a bit more colour in his room. And it's from this company here. It's called This Paper Book. And um, the Instagram is just at This Paper Book. And um, it's a UK brand, I'm pretty sure. That's where it's come from. Um, but I love it. It looks so good. Um... So yeah, I really do like it. Literally, all this on the shelf, you can see, except for this guy and this guy, is from Instagram. Like, literally, all of it is from Instagram. You can do it.
what? Doing such a good job. Oh, it squeaks. Didn't even know. Well done. Oh my god. Oh baby. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. While I'm waiting for dinner to be cooked, I thought it's the perfect time to tell you another story because Amy keeps nagging me about my stories. Did anybody there get that glad wrap where they redesign the glad wrap and how you pull the glad wrap off? Like the bit that you needed to pull it down and pull it up and like you wrap your face with glad wrap. <laughs> we went through one of those rolls. It wasn't too bad because I only done it once. We made the mistake by buying it once and um, I think we went through the one roll in like a week because that's how many times we've stuck it up. Like, oh, that's tangled. Oh, that's tangled. Hold on, Amy. Here, you hold them two corners and I'll hold these ones. Right, we got it. We got it. Be careful. Be gentle. There we go. We got it. Amy wanted me to tell you the story of when I got my wisdom teeth out. So, I was in the Navy and you get free medical and dental, right? So, I thought I'd use that to my advantage. So... Everybody needs to get their wisdom teeth out at some stage in their life, right? And they were like, no, not everyone, but you know, uh, what do you reckon about mine? Do you reckon mine need to come out? And they were like, ah, uh, we can get some x-rays, got some x-rays. They're like, yours probably won't need to come out for another five years. And I was like, but, uh, but would there be any advantage of getting them out now? They're like, well, they're, they're coming through a little bit. But, you know, it definitely warrants us taking them out. Yeah, I reckon we should get them out. So... I just met Amy at this stage. Uh, the operation was all booked in before actually we ever met. It was all booked in. And <laughs> how long do you reckon I've known you for, Amy? Two weeks, three weeks. Two weeks or three weeks. And I, <laughs> two weeks or three weeks. And I said to Amy, hey, Amy, I've got to get my wisdom teeth out, um, you know, in a few weeks. So. You know, still in great pain, and she was like, "Oh, I'll take you to, I'll take you to your, uh, you know, to the day surgery." I was like, "Yeah, okay, no worries." I've only known Amy two or three weeks, seen her probably about four times in total, and I let this girl come and pick me up. At this stage, didn't know if it was serious. Um, not that that has anything to do with the story, and <laughs> went in there to go get my wisdom teeth, and it was really surreal. I've never had an operation, never had nothing, and they're like, "All right, go put this." Um, you have to put this cape on, this thing, you know. I'm like, okay, no worries, I'll take all your clothes off and put this cape on. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, no worries. Put this, you know, the hospital gown on, not a cape. But I remember, this is what I remember. I remember counting down from 10 and then waking him up like this. <sighs> and then Amy's like, or something like that. Like, oh, we can go whenever you're ready. I'm like, she's like, no, you've been awake for like hours. What actually happened was there, uh, I'd woken up maybe a couple of hours before that. Was it Amy? A couple of hours before that in my hospital gown and blood going everywhere. <laughs> All right, oh, needed to go to the toilet <laughs> with no underpants on and thought I'd show the whole hospital my backside. <laughs> Oh, and I had a trick, so I'm walking down like this. With my backside hanging out like this. To the toilet, I'm by myself. I don't remember any of this. It could be, it could be a lot. I do vaguely remember. I do remember actually going to the toilet with a stick. Like, where in the fuck? Where, how do I, where do I put my, where do I put this drip thing while I do a wee? You know what? You stay there. And I remember having zero balance. Like, oh, <laughs> oh shit. I might have even sat down to do it. What else happened? Oh, <laughs> we went to a zoo because <laughs> we were on dates, you know, trying to go on cute dates while we were first seeing each other. We went to like a, like an Australian wildlife zoo and the guy's like, oh, it's feeding time, feed the koalas. And he pulled the koala out and he's like, who wants to get a photo next to the koala? And he's like, get a photo. And I was like, now, I didn't know how bad I looked until, you know, people took photos of me on the photo show. <laughs> Amy was like, 
hysterical laughing at me, like no, I'm not next to this. <laughs> that made it worse that I had to lean over this dude to get next to the koala because he's not allowed to touch him. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> try to smile next to this koala. <laughs> and if we can find the photo, Amy should put it up here. Put the photo up there. But that's all for story time today. So I think of a better one next time. I really got stuck today for a politically, politically correct story. But um, I think of them during the day and then go completely blank at the end of the night. Trying to go to bed. Yes, because I'm freezing. Yeah. Jason's literally got his hands underneath my bum to try and keep him warm. <laughs> it is a very cold tonight. Like, I feel like this winter is going to be very cold compared to, like, other winters. Yeah. Do you think so? No, yeah, it's always cold. I think it's just a, a bit of adjustment for us. Because we've gone from nice warm nights to freezing. But then people on the other side of Australia will be like, that's not cold. Yeah, people in England will be like, it's not cold. Yeah, but it is. It's cold for WA. It's about 10 degrees right now. It's cold for WA. You guys, you have to see our cats. Look at them. And look how cute they are. They're all snuggly. Max gets really cold in winter and he likes snuggling up to you. I want to go work in the pool before the winter. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna say good night. We will see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm so sorry I was a bit miserable in it, but hopefully you guys understand. But hopefully Jason's story time. See what I have to live with. Hey. <laughs> hopefully Jason's story time was amazing. We made up for it. But anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night.